Hey everyone, today I'm here with a set review of set number 4997, the LEGO Creator Transport Ferry. This set originally came out in 2008, so it is an old set, over 10 years old. I obviously picked it up secondhand on Bricklink recently, but it's a really cool set. It does have a total of 1,279 pieces, and of course, because it is a LEGO Creator set, it is a LEGO Creator 3-in-1, and you can also build a different boat as well as an airplane from the pieces. But, of course, in today's video, I will be reviewing the ferry model. Just jumping right into the review here, as you can see, it is a pretty large set. Uh, this is what my hand looks like in the frame, but it, it's quite long also. It's honestly, it's a really good model with over 1,200 pieces, and I love that they didn't use any hull pieces or any specialty pieces that you can't get in any just regular Lego set because this really just gives so many more options and opportunities. So getting right into the re review, we'll get to the front of the boat. As you can see here, the whole front is made up of slow pieces. Very, very good. It, as I said, it's no hull or anything like that. So it's really great that it's really awesome and detailed. And it is quite tall. The cool feature about the front, and I'll just turn the boat a little bit so you can see it better. But this part does actually open up. So all you need to do is move this lever. And then you can twist it here. And the boat fully opens up. And the front of the ferry comes down. So of course, the car can exit. And I'll show you the car in a little bit more detail a little later on. But as you can see now, this is what the front looks like. But you get to look in it in a bit more detail. This is a good view of what the ferry looks like on the way down. Uh, as you can see, the platform is it, its nice and flush with the table with really cool mechanisms. Again, it'll just completely rise if you turn, turn the lever on the side and the machine fully closes. And then you can just use this part to close it back up. But it looks really cool. It's got lots of great detailing as well with the platforms on each side. And then there's the side detail here as well. I don't know if they have any specific purpose, but of course, I just think they look really, really cool. And then moving on towards more of the center of the boat, as you can see up here is actually, you know, where the operator of the ferry would sit. You obviously can't go in it because it's not minifigure scale, but it's just a close up overview. There is so much more detailing on the side as well, including there is a big flagpole and then the flag that goes all the way up. But the detail is just overall really, really good. It, there's even lights facing down here onto the platform that comes around. Moving on to the side of the ferry, it's got this really nice blue, yellow, and white color scheme which I really appreciate. A majority of the color obviously is blue. And up here, as you can see, there are, are a lot of windows as well, which just gives really nice detail to the overall model and the boat. To show you the rest of the boat, I think it's a good idea if I could close up the front of the model and lock it back in place. As well, the whole boat is on wheels, so you can move it around, do lots of different movements as well. This is what the bottom of the ship looks like. You can see here the back of the control room, the cockpit, where the captain of the boat sits. And then there's also what I believe is an emergency life, um, emergency lifeboat up here, which I would assume could be lowered into the water in the unfortunate event of an emergency. And then this entire platform actually does come off so you can get better easy access into the boat and see it quite a bit better but um you don't really need access once you're in there because it isn't minifigure scale the biggest play features would obviously come with the car and trailer that this set does have but now you can sort of see into the cockpit just a little bit better there are some steering wheels a bunch of controls and you know telescopes and binoculars looking out of course at all sides and then there are lots of cool details on the roof of the boat so i'm just going to put this back on up here and I'll show you the back of the boat. So this is another really cool feature of the boat. Um, just like the front, it uses these Technic parts to raise and lower uh, the plank here. So this one works a little bit simpler than the front and it makes nice and flush with the ground. The car and trailer can easily drive up, close it here, drive to the destination, and then of course, open it up here at the front. There's lots of really great detailing on the back here. I especially love the old fashioned chain look. I think that looks really cool. As well as of course the lights and then just the overall detail on the sides. There's just lots of different use of bricks and plates. And it just overall gives it, gives this boat a really nice feel. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I really, really love this boat. And when I saw this set, I just knew 
that I wanted to be able to pick it up. I think it's a really great addition to my Lego collection, and I'm just really impressed with how it looks. Obviously, there's no minifigures included, so it's kind of hard to give a full, a full review of this set and show you all the play features when there isn't really a ton. It's just, I really wanted to just make this video to show you this really cool set, just because it is so old. Um, I personally never saw it until I ordered it, the day I ordered it. So I imagine a lot of my subscribers, my viewers might not know that as well. So that's the point of this video is not to give you a full comprehensive review, but honestly just to more, more or less show off this incredible ship. And of course, in addition to the ship, I can't forget about the car and caravan that has come with it. It's a very small vehicle here, not minifigure scale. Um, you can't put a minifigure in there. Obviously, it's just too small. It's four studs wide. And then the trailer is four studs wide as well. It's got some windows in it so you can see through. And the car overall honestly just has a really nice design. And you can definitely tell this family's heading on vacation with the rack up here of things as well as their actual trailer. And then of course I think it would be fun one more time just to give you a full overview of how the ferry actually works. So I'm going to step around to the side here. I'm going to do my best to give you a full view here. So when the ferry, you know, pulls up to the dock, they're obviously going to lower the back door here. The car and caravan are going to drive on quite nicely. Once they're all in there nice and safe and sound, of course, they're going to reload the ferry, drive away, and then when they reach their final destination, it is time to open up the ferry, open the front here as well, and drive the car and caravan off to their final vacation destination. All right, so thanks everybody so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoy it. This is such an awesome set. I'm really glad I actually found it online while browsing a LEGO Collector's Facebook group. I had no idea that this set was ever made, never built, or anything like that. So when I saw it, I just knew I needed to pick this one up, and I'm really glad to add it to my collection, as well as eventually, hopefully, test out to see if it will float or not. But again, thanks everybody so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and of course, subscribe. Looking forward to the next review, and I'll see you in the next video.